So we are back with another Cyberpunk 2077 news video and today we cover the latest from the past few days including the DLC reveal delay, multiplayer reveal, the game size, more exclusives in terms of rewards and much much more. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like truly helps me out and I can't tell you how much I appreciate that support and also subscribe if you're new around here and want to see more Cyberpunk. So let's start with the DLC reveal delay. Now it's been known and confirmed a while back before the last DLA of the game until December 10th that CDPR were going to reveal some of the DLCs for this game or at least discuss them with us before this game's release. Now we know CDPR have said in the past that Cyberpunk 2077 will have more DLCs than The Witcher 3 did which is over 15 which is great I guess with also the majority of them being mostly free. But as reported by VGC, the news was revealed by CD Projekt Red President and Joint CEO Adam Kaczynski during the company's Q3 2020 earnings call after he was asked about announcing and selling a season pass for the much anticipated game. He said the initial plan was to do it before release, but after the recent delay, we decided to wait for the release to provide gamers with a game and then start talking about future projects. So after release, Kaczynski said. And yeah guys, the reasoning behind this is the fact of the recent delay and all the work I guess going into getting this game 100% ready for December 10th and probably has thrown them off course. So yeah, we were supposed to get a preview of the DLCs or what they may consist of before this game was going to be released. But with the recent delay, it's thrown them off course I believe. And well, if I'm being honest here, although I wouldn't mind seeing a little about the DLCs and what they may consist of, I'm actually not that bothered about seeing them so early into a game's release. I mean, it isn't even out yet. Maybe let us play the game a little before we get that DLC hype. That's my standpoint on it anyway, and I mean it's coming either way. But I don't think there is a need for it right now, so this delay doesn't bother me at all. So moving on and a few details on multiplayer and we have information when CDPR will share details on this side of the game. Kaczynski also spoke about Cyberpunk 2077's multiplayer within this earnings call. Which by the way if you don't know is a standalone project that won't likely be playable until 2022. Well they are the rumours anyway. Now Kaczynski said that they plan to share details on multiplayer in Q1 next year. He also said it's a separate dedicated production, a big production. And we plan and we think about it as a standalone project. Obviously it's not entirely standalone as it comes from the universe of cyberpunk and is very much related to the concept of single player cyberpunk. So there we have it guys, within the first quarter of next year we will learn more about Cyberpunk's multiplayer, which I honestly cannot wait for. Although like I said, the rumours going around that we may not see multiplayer for Cyberpunk until 2022. Ok so let's move on and take a little look at some of the exclusives in terms of pre-orders and more. So CDPR tweeted this out where if you pre-order on PC you get this short story written by CDPR's story lead. The story is called 2AM She Calls and it showcases the hostile streets of Night City as seen by Frank, an ex-NCPD officer working the night shift as a combat cab driver. You will also get a set of exclusive goodies including avatars, posters and a wall paper. So that's pretty cool. So moving on to the UK's game pre-order collector's edition and what it consists of as we now get a better look at it and well it looks cool. So with it you get the collector's edition box, case with game discs, collectible steelbook, a 10 inch statue depicting V, the game's protagonist, in action, a hardcover art book, a metal pin set, a Quadra VTEC metal keychain, an annotated copy of a visitor's guide to Night City Sealed and an NCPD evidence bag embroidered patches, world compendium detailing the game setting and lore, postcards from Night City, a map of Night City and a sticky bomb set. So that is quite a stash people. The price though is little under £300 which is probably closer to $400 which is quite a bit of money I'm not gonna lie. Okay so to end the video we have a clue into how big this game will be as PlayStation size tweeted this out. Now I will state this isn't set in stone so take it with a pinch of salt but it is believed by many that this will be the true size without that day one patch which is in the works. 
which I'd probably say would add another few gigabytes onto this for sure, so maybe even closer to 80 or 90 gigabytes. Also to mention this isn't including any next gen patch updates either, which I would imagine would be a significant increase on said standard game size, maybe even add a 50% to it. So if you guys are short on space, well now you know how much roughly you need. And well, on that note guys, the end of the video has arrived. Just a quick one covering the news from the last few days and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did leave a like, it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Cyberpunk, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.